Hello guys, thank you so much for trusting Convertify. In this tutorial I will show you how to upload your iOS app to the App Store. So the first step will be to download your iOS app from the email we have just sent you or from the order page. In my case I'm in, in my order page so I'm gonna hit on download iOS app right here. Okay so once the zip file is downloaded I will drop it in my desktop, I will open it and then it's really important for you to not open this file convertify.xcodeproc because then the app is not going to work you need to open convertify.xc workspace okay so let's open it we'll open it on xcode okay once we're here make sure to follow these two steps okay very simple you come to convertify to your project your targets and right here you need to se select automatically manage signing it's really important for you to select that. Also, your team. Make sure to add your team. In case you don't, your team means your Apple developer account. In case you don't have an Apple developer account, make sure to go and do one. And also, when you have done it, just add your account, and that's it. In my case, I already have my account, so you just follow these steps. And it's also very, very important for you to do the same exact thing right here in push notification. Select automatically signing, manage signing and your team. So that's pretty much it. So the first thing we need to do is to test our app, right? Before uploading to the App Store so we can see that we like everything we see. Let's click on simulate. So build succeeded. They show us an iPhone. That's the splash screen. Converify would like to send you notifications. In case you have enabled those notifications, you will be able to send them. So yeah, this is what the app looks like. This is what my app looks like. Pretty much what I expected. So that's how to simulate your app. The next step will be just to create your app on your Apple developer account. We'll go to Apple developer account, Apple developer program. The first result. In my case, I do have an account already, so if you don't have one, you need to create one so you can upload your app. Okay, then you head to App Store Connect. Go to App Store Connect. Um, wait a minute. So then we go to My Apps. I'm gonna hit on create new app it will ask you to which platform we're gonna set iOS the name will be oh no convertify demo app the primer, primary language I will set English USA the bundle ID is convertify demo app com dot convertify dot convertify demo app uh, I'll explain you why look right here you can see that the bundle identifier is com dot convertify dot convertify demo app. So will the bundle ID will be this one? SKU. Um, let's read a unique ID for your app that is not visible in the App Store. So let's I don't know type like something unique. The user access, full access, so then we hit on create. So we will be redirected to our app. Well, we can, we will later set up all these things. So let's take a look to the next. Okay, so now we need to go to Apple Developer Account again. The first result account and then we need to go to certificates, identifiers and profiles. Well right here there are your certificates. I will later explain first. Before anything I would like to tell this about identifiers. Here there are all your app bundle IDs. In this case you can see Convertify Demo app. I mean you can see it here because I set it automatically on 
on my Xcode. So right here you can see automatically manage signing. Xcode will create and update profiles, APIs, and certificates. So now let's continue with certificates. Right here what you need to do is to create a certificate for Apple development. Uh, you need a certificate signing request. It's pretty simple. You go to Keychain, Access. Uh, you will need to create a certificate. So let's delete this one. Let's create a new one for certificate system. Request a certificate from a certificate authority. Your email. Your name, Luca Maldonado, saved to disk. Save. Done. Now you choose file, you upload it, you hit continue, and then you download it. And make sure to press right here so you can see it adds right here the Apple development certificate. So I will erase the certificate. You need to create a new certificate, but in this case for Apple distribution. You do the same exact thing, kitchen access, certificate assistant, request a certificate from a certificate authority, your email, and your name. Save to disk. Save. Then you can here choose file, you choose the certificate, you hit continue, you press download. Um, right here you click again to install it, so you have the two certificates, Apple Distribution and Apple Development. That is really important. Then you hit back and you go to profiles. Here in profiles you need to well, first, let's remove these two. We don't need them anymore. Just ignore that part. We'll create one for iOS app development. The app ID will be converted by the map. Select certificates for this for distribution. Right here, we will select the one we have just created. This one. Oh, this one. So we hit continue. We select all devices, and the name will be Convertify Development Generate. We hit download. We click here to install it to Xcode. Now we hit to all profiles again. We'll create a distribution profile for App Store. The app ID is converted by the mob. Now, I created a certificate also for distribution that is right here, November 7. Continue. The provision and profile name will be converted by distribution. Generate and you hit download. Make sure to click on it to install it on Exco. Once it is installed, you hit all profiles, so you have everything right here, the identifiers and the certificates right here. So, well, that's pretty much it. Let, let's keep on going with the next step. For those ones who have bought the push notifications package, you should come to your identifiers and then go to your app bundle ID, that in my case is Convertify them up. So I will just click on it. I will look for push notifications. Here you can configure them, but what I recommend is for you to go to our documentation that is convertify.app slash set iOS push notifications. You read the whole documentation, watch the video, and that's it. Then you, then you keep on going with the video. And for those ones who haven't bought the push notifications, I recommend to keep on going with the video, and that's it. Okay, so the next big step will be to go to Xcode where your project is, 
on your heat converter file, generic iOS device, you go to product and you click on archive. So, revoke. So you click on revoke. It will ask you for your computer password. You need to click always allow. Build succeeded. So now we will hit on distribute app, app store connect next, upload next. Mm. This will take a while. Okay, that's it. Next, out, yes, next. He asks for my passport again. Always hello. That's it. That's my review Convertify.epy content. Upload. Right now it is on its way to be uploaded. Okay, so you can see that app Convertify successfully uploaded. So we will hit done. And we will go to so App Store Connect. So well, to finish this whole thing, we will just need to select a build before you submit your app. The build is just what we have created in Xcode. So well, you will select this one. You will click on Done, and that's it. Your build has been uploaded. Um, make sure to hit on Save. So your build is now saved, your build is your app. So well, the only thing left are the requirements with your details. Make sure just to not leave anything behind and write every single thing that they ask you. And once you've done that, just hit submit for review. It's very important also to, to submit the, um, right here, the privacy policy. Also, it is important for you to submit copyright. Let me explain what is copyright. The name of the person or entity that owns the exclusive rights to your app preceded by the year the rights were obtained. You don't have to provide an URL. What you have to do is provide your name. And, and the year with the rights that you obtained. I don't know. In my case, it will be Lucas Magnado Urin 2018. That will be in my case. You you will see. So well also submit the both iPhones screenshots and I think that's that is all. That's all you need. Well once again, thank you very much for trusting us and I really hope to see your apps up and running in the app store. Bye.